this video, I will be talking about an insane pattern that currently is unfolding here on the Bitcoin chart right now on the daily time frame. So don't miss out on this very important video because I will be discussing this and much, much more on today's update video. I will be talking about an insane signal that currently is flashing. I will be talking about Bitcoin that is so far still holding the support and much, much more. So don't forget to watch this video till the end. Oh, so don't forget to slap up that like button on today's video. Yes. Today we were extremely close by slapping it up above 500 likes. So can we do it on today's update video? That will be absolutely incredible. So don't forget to slap up that like button and let's jump straight away in towards the content. Because once I am currently looking at Bitcoin on the uh, yeah lower time frames, we can see that Bitcoin has been recovering a little bit over here. You can see over the course of yesterday, Bitcoin dropped significantly. And right now we have started to see a very strong recovery. Only if I do look at the 30 minute time frame and once I'm going to be looking for this uh, support line you can clearly see we've been touching this support line over an approximately three to four times and right now we're already trading below it so actually Bitcoin is starting to be losing some momentum once again after we've seen this strong recovery and right now what i will be talking about is that my main level of resistance to be breaking in this case is going to be the 19.7k if we do break above this horizontal level right here i honestly expect that the imminent short term for bitcoin could be a little bit more bullish but as long as we're not going to be trading above this level i do expect there is a very big potential that there is going to be more downside following us also if i'm looking at the one hour time frame is that the RSI is currently forming a very interesting hidden uh, bearish divergence. We can currently clearly see that the price action has been forming a lower high while the RSI is in fact forming higher highs, what means that we're currently forming a hidden bearish divergence, what could also still have a bearish effect on the market. Only right now on the one hour time frame, I am looking at this level right here and you can currently clearly see this previous very strong support level. We broke above it and currently we are flipping it potentially in towards support. So maybe on the imminent short term, we're going to see a small little bounce towards the upside before potentially once again coming down here also on the one hour time frame we're still holding up towards this trend right here like you can see so on the one hour time frame everything is looking still quite all right for bitcoin right here however if i am starting to look at the four early time frame i am starting to get a little bit worried and the reason why i am currently saying this is because I've talked about this several times before, right? So right now, we can currently clearly see that Bitcoin officially confirmed a lower low on the 4 hourly time frame, what means that we're currently identifying and confirming the downtrend we've been already trading in. So after Bitcoin confirmed a lower low on the 4 hourly time frame, we could also and we should also anticipate that this trend is most likely going to continue the way down here. We have also started to be forming lower highs every single time, so... I wouldn't be actually all too surprised if we are going to see that continuation towards the downside still happen from here on. What I also want to be talking about is that this low on the market right here looks to be a very huge and strong liquidity zone for Bitcoin. So most likely if Bitcoin is going to retest this level around the 18.5k, I honestly do expect that we can see more strong reactions around this level. What means that potentially opening a long position around that 18.4k isn't a bad decision furthermore if i do look at the daily time frame for bitcoin i am honestly very worried on bitcoin right now and i am only going to be of course extremely bearish on bitcoin in case we break below this extremely important support box what you can currently see on the market right now bitcoin has been forming a very interesting pattern a losing pattern of an head and shoulders pattern of on here on the daily time frame we can currently see a left shoulder has been getting formed then we saw on head and currently we're forming the right shoulder what is also confirming the lower high on the daily time frame so bitcoin is currently in an extremely bearish pattern and what i will be saying here is that i will be expecting the downside targets to be getting reached if we do break below the 18.7k basically below the previous range low in the market so i would also highly suggest that everyone is going to keep their eyes wide open on this 18.7 18.8k target on the daily time frame right here because if we do break below this level i honestly think bitcoin is going to be in big big problems furthermore what is the price target of this level so if we're going to be measuring the price target of this potential and the shoulders we're going to be breaking below the neckline i'm going to be targeting for a level somewhere around the 14,000 US dollars for bitcoin so this price target is very interesting because once looking at this price target we can also start to see if we're zooming out that the 
$14,000 for Bitcoin is also the exact previous retest of this high on the market right here. What makes it, in my opinion, a very interesting level to be looking at right now. And also, if we're going to look at this level right here, you can see that there has been quite a lot of significance on the previous bull run for Bitcoin around at $14,000. So yes, I honestly do think that this is an important level to be watching right now here. And I will be only anticipate that this level is going to get reached in case we do break clearly below the 18.5k for Bitcoin. If we do break below the neckline of this hand and shoulders pattern, I honestly am expecting these lower uh, lower price targets are going to be happening. But as long as we're not seeing this, I think Bitcoin is going to be still look quite all right here. And Honestly, I do expect that the majority of the volatility will be kicking in this Thursday because on this Thursday, we will be having the Federal Reserve meeting. What will be most certainly kick in a lot of market volatility right here. Then as well, if I'm going to be talking about this very interesting opportunity for you guys out there, it is the Ethereum UZ Tether Perpetual Airdrop. You can right now claim a free 1000 US dollar long or short position. If you do sign up with the highest link in the description, deposit $1,000 and you can claim your free deposit bonus right here. I will leave a link in the description where you can claim this. So it is very important to know you have to create a new account using this link. And also you have to deposit at least 1000 US dollars before you're going to be eligible to claim this reward. It's going to be first come first serve. And currently there's only 23% left in stock. So make sure to check it out right now very quickly to claim your free 1000 US dollar long or short position here on Bybit. Then as well, once looking at the Bitcoin daily chart, I honestly still think Bitcoin is just going to be looking quite alright right as long as we're not going to be breaking below this very important level of support right that, that red box in this case is the important support to be watching right now it is very important for the head and shoulders pattern and also for the descending triangle as long as we're holding up above it we're going to be still looking quite all right for bitcoin but as soon as we do break below it we are in big problems then as well here on the daily time frame we can see the symmetrical triangle yesterday we were trading below this level and currently we can see the daily candle still closed within the symmetrical triangle so still um, this big big pattern will be choosing a direction here in the coming 23 days here so as soon as bitcoin does clearly confirm a breakout towards the lower side or upside we're going to be aiming for these targets and for the downside it's going to be twenty fourteen thousand dollars and for the upside it's going to be somewhere around that thirty thousand US dollar target so make sure to keep your eyes wide open we are expecting a breakout is going to be happening in the coming 22 days so make sure to get ready for this big big market move that will happen anytime soon then the last thing i would like to discuss is this historic chart right here because if we're going to be looking at the 1000 daily moving average and if we're going to be looking at once Bitcoin is trading below this 1000 daily moving average, we can clearly see that always historically speaking, once Bitcoin is trading below the 1000 daily moving average, it is a very good range for accumulation. And once again, yes, I do know that Bitcoin could potentially still come lower from off this point, but this is indeed a very good opportunity to accumulate and dollar cost average in towards the market. And that is also exactly what I'm doing. I am buying more Bitcoin every single day because I do think that currently the prices are very attractive to a dollar cost average in towards the market. What will of course make me very wealthy in the futures because in these markets right now you just have to have a very good strategy in order to benefit maximally in the bull market and my strategy right now here is to buy every single day once bitcoin is trading below that 1000 daily moving average because on the long run i do think that this is a very good strategy so this was it for today's update video if you do like the content don't forget to slap up that like button and of course consider subscribing to the channel as well if you want to be winning a free crypto c subscription don't forget to check out the instagram of crypto c or my instagram crypto rover where you can win a free subscription of the crypto seed trading algorithm that makes around the 75% returns a year. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.